If you're looking to give back in the new year, now is your chance. The United Blood Services is hosting their Battle for Blood event this weekend. Frank Esparza joins us now, and thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. And my first question, when I saw the title of the event, Battle for Blood, why Battle for Blood? Because that's what we're doing. We're battling for blood. Right now our shelves are at minimum, and so we're, we're kind of at a drought from the holiday season. And January, the first part of January is important. We need to get the shelves back up to, to par. And why is it so important for these blood drives just throughout the year in general? Well, uh, there's patients in hospitals every day. One out of 10 patients that is admitted into the hospital needs blood. So we need to have 175 units a day to meet the needs of the area hospitals. And you were mentioning a little bit earlier, this is a time where you guys really need donations because during the holidays, things are slow for you guys. So there, people are doing other things. They're not thinking about blood, blood, blood donations. And uh, of course, the schools are out. We get 30% of our blood from high schools. So when they're out during the holiday, we don't have that supply. So January is important for us to catch up. We need a good uh, drive this weekend, and it's coming up this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 1 to 6 p.m. at all three Valley Malls. Yeah, that is starting, like you said, it kicks off tomorrow. And what are some things that people need to take note of if they do want to go donate? Well, have a good meal before they come in, drink plenty of fluids, and you'll go through a, a little interview. And if you qualify, then you will have the donation. It takes about 45 minutes. And then what's, what happens afterwards? You know, some people, I know whenever I used to give in college, you can't do activities like yeah, try to go... Yeah, crazy. You yeah, you don't run a <laughs> marathon, but obviously you don't pick up heavy things. You know, you take it easy, drink pl plenty of fluids and salty snacks, and you should be fine. So, yeah. And do you see here in the Valley that there really is a need for these blood donations? And specifically in January, you said it is slow, and it's also National Blood Donor Awareness Month. And that's why it is so, because throughout the country, January is a, is a, is a very challenging month for everybody. So we need the blood donations from the community because there is no substitute for blood. And there's a lot of cancer patients out there, a lot of surgeries that need to be had. And without this blood, these surgeries will not go through. Or trauma cases as, as well. There's a lot of accidents and things. So we need that blood on the shelf all the time. We need a lot of O positive, O negative blood. Right, because one day it could be you who's in need of that blood. That's right. So again, you guys are hosting your event at All Valley Mall starting tomorrow up until Sunday. Exactly. And you, you, people even get a free shirt if they go and donate. Yeah, if they go donate, <laughs> they will get a shirt like this and uh, for every donation that's made. Perfect. All right. Well, thank you so much, Frank, for joining us. All right. Thank you.